Hey guys, a couple weeks back, I made Music really upset when he played my Find the Button map. I guess I made it a little too challenging. So I thought it would be fun today to show you two different ways that you can make a Find the Button map too. If you enjoy these tutorials, go ahead and hit that like button. And as always, please use code the slurp. It helps out a ton. Let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with a little bit of a speed build here. We're gonna go with an island theme for both of the find the button maps that I'm gonna be showing you today. So we've got a little beach front and I'm gonna add an ocean right in front. A lot of the find the button maps I do, I really like putting things under water just cause it's a little tougher to see them. So we went and added a little bit of details I recommend when building go ahead and put plants at the bottom of trees and just add those little things that are going to make it more realistic in game. And then this is what makes the first find the button way different than the second one. We're going to go ahead and build up and build a ramp out with however many platforms you need and then a wall. That wall is going to be the wall that gets knocked down if you find the button. With the stairs you're going to go ahead and edit it like so, so that just a little bit of it peeks out and that little bit that's peeking out is going to go and be your button so that is what the person that's playing your map is looking for another quick tip is when i build these maps i usually like to enclose them with these blocks that are stretched out instead of actual walls i feel like it adds a little bit of a set feel that makes it pretty cool the next big thing is your settings and this is actually going to be settings for both maps so you're going to go ahead and change environment damage to off, you're gonna change building damage to none. And then you don't want anyone to be able to destroy environment with buildings. So you're gonna go ahead and turn that off as well as turn off building in general. And then everyone's gonna have a deagle in this type of find the button map. So we went ahead and made a team settings and then placed the deagle or the hand cannon in the team settings. So when you land on your map, you're gonna be able to find the find the button map shoot it sometimes a prop will get in its way but for the most part you'll be good and it will break like so next up we're going to build one more island so i can demonstrate what i usually use for my find the buttons this method is the newer way that most people are doing it and the one that i would recommend doing but either way it's a little more difficult with this one but it's just preference So we're gonna go ahead and build a dock, put some detail on it, make sure to copy things to make your life a little easier. <laughs> and then with rocks, just make sure you rotate, resize, just so that it's not the same rock over and over again. And we're gonna add a little bit of water. The reason why I don't build, even though we have water under us, I don't build on the ground, is I like to have that room to build underneath the map just in case something is needed. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a beach front on this one too. Honestly wasn't sure exactly what I was building here. Usually I have something in mind, but I kind of just started building and came up with this little beach front Again, resizing trees is the same as rocks. It just makes it look less cloned all over the place. And then I made a little shack here, putting some lighting in it. And now we've got a beachfront that leads right up to a little beach house. And then we're gonna close this one in just like we did the other. This helps too if you're building up in the sky that people don't realize you're up in the sky. So there you have it. That's our little beachfront resort. And the next step is what makes this one my favorite. We're gonna go ahead and add a fake door. You can find it in the galleries and I'm gonna choose this one because it looks like a beach door, kind of like Shacky. And then we're gonna throw down a channel trigger. 
place it where we want the button to be. So that is going to be our button. We're going to go in, make sure that it can't be triggered by a player. Triggered by damage we do want. And then really the last thing is down at the bottom here. It's going to be when triggered, transmit on, and then we're going to put channel one. And then we're going to go ahead and get an explosive device and we're going to link it to that channel trigger. You're going to want to make sure it's right behind the door because this is going to essentially be what opens up the next room for you. We're going to turn off player damage so that it doesn't hurt someone. And then all structures are usually around 450 damage, so just put it at 500 and it should take out whatever you need it to. And then blast radius, you want to put it pretty low because you don't want it to make a huge hole in the wall. You just want it to take out that one wall and the door. And then when exploded, and then explode when receiving from channel one. And now let's test it out. So you come in, you find the button, and that door right there should explode. And there you have it. So those are the two methods that you can use to make a find the button map. I hope you guys try it out yourself. Also, if you made it this far in the video, congrats. Um, little hidden nugget, I'm going to be releasing a find the button map for you guys in the next week or two. So be looking out for that one. It's a really cool theme and I'm really excited about it. Hit that sub button if you haven't already and hit that like button as well. If we can get 50 likes, I'll go ahead and do another tutorial and put in the comments what you guys want to learn about creative and I will try to do it. Thanks, see you guys next time.